As you know by now, the 1960s was a decade of protest. The anti-war movement was in full force, as was the African American Civil Rights Movement. Women were active participants in both the Civil Rights Movement and the anti-war movement. As a result, women began questioning their own role in society, and they began to see the need for their own equality and their own rights. Even as they worked in these movements for other people's equality and other people's freedom, they began to realize that they didn't even have an equal role in the movements themselves. Their roles were often reduced to getting coffee or taking notes, and rarely were women afforded the chance to take on a leadership role. Therefore, women started to talk amongst themselves about how they too should start fighting for their own freedom, rights, and equality. The secret word is Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. In 1963, Betty Friedan wrote a book called The Feminine Mystique. In this book, she challenged the myth that women needed a husband and a family in order to be fulfilled. This book became known as the Women's Liberation Movement's Bible. Betty Friedan, who used to work as a reporter before returning home to stay with her kids and take care of the house, argued that there was more to life than taking care of a family and she insisted that women could work, that women could go to college, and women could be equal. This book became extremely popular and was read by thousands of women. In 1964, the Civil Rights Act was passed, and it included Title VII, which barred discrimination in employment. Women wanted to use this to fight against inequality in the workplace, but were largely ineffective. Because of this, in 1966, the National Organization for Women, otherwise known as NOW, was formed. This group was mostly concerned with the rights of working women, and it acted almost like an NAACP for women's rights. With Betty Friedan as a key organizer, NOW's activities centered on legal and economic problems of women, and they argued that women needed things like paid maternity leave and childcare in the workplace. Much like in the African American civil rights movements, by the late 1960s, some women were thinking that the movement was moving much too slow, and we saw the emergence of radical feminists. These women wanted what they called liberation and not just equal rights. These radical feminists organized at a local level. There wasn't a national organization like there was with now. They tried to do things like consciousness raising to get m women more aware of the discrimination they faced on a daily basis. They also turned to more dramatic protests, for instance, burning bras, protesting Miss America pageants, and so on. 